Let's set up our Checkpoint 600 appliance that just arrived. It's small in size, but has big security. Just plug in the power, connect the cable to the internet, and connect our PC to the LAN 1 port. We point our browser to the IP address given on the card in the enclosed instruction booklet. We accept the browser's security warnings and log into the Checkpoint 600 appliance. Welcome to the Configuration Wizard. This quickly takes us through the steps necessary to secure our business. Clicking Next, we get to the password screen. Always change the default admin name and password. The stronger the password, the better. Select our country. Clicking Next allows us to update the date and time. Then click Next. Now we get to name our appliance. We could use some boring techie name or our business name, but today I'm going to use my puppy's name, Spike. <coughs> Clicking Next gets us to the Internet Connections page. We simply select the connection protocol our internet provider uses. DHCP is most common. Once selected, we are connected to the internet. Clicking Next takes us to the local network configuration screen. The settings here are pretty standard for small offices, but can be changed for more complex networks. We accept the defaults and click Next. This allows us to set up our wireless network. We can select a unique network name that users will see when they try to access our network. It's also highly recommended that we assign a password to our network so only authorized people can get access. Clicking Next configures our wireless network and takes us to the screen specifying how the administrator can get access to our new 600 appliance. We'll accept all the defaults. Clicking Next connects to the Checkpoint licensing server, grabs the license, and activates our 600 appliance. Once our license is set, we can activate the various security capabilities that the 600 has to offer. The firewall will block undesired incoming traffic. App control and URL filtering allow for internet surfing that is both appropriate and safe based on our policies. User awareness identifies network users by name. Intrusion prevention, or IPS, blocks attacks and protects our business from vulnerabilities that attackers can take advantage of. Antivirus blocks worms and viruses before they can get into our network. Anti-spam stops spam from getting to our mailboxes. Remote access allows users to connect their PCs from anywhere and protect their data by encrypting the transmission. Site-to-Site -site VPN allows us to have secure traffic transferred between two remote office networks. Click the check on the security functions that we want. Notice that by default, all of the capabilities are on, protecting us from a variety of threats and vulnerabilities. Clicking Next shows a review screen of all of the steps we just went through. If we see any errors, we can go back and fix them now. If we remember something later, we can always change the configuration later. Clicking Finish completes the appliance configuration setup. And that's it! We are protected and can now monitor and manage our security. The Checkpoint Security Dashboard is where we go to find all of the features that we have enabled, disabled, or can change in the future. We can also set the level of security within each function, but we may want to leave that up to the experts. The default configuration is often the best setting to begin securing our business. If we would rather, we can have Checkpoint manage our security for us with the Checkpoint Cloud Management Service, leaving our security issues for Checkpoint to manage. This allows us to get back to taking care of our own business. And that's it! Our business is now protected. Checkpoint 600 Appliance. Small size, big security.